Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about program design. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching, students should be able to understand the importance of program design and understand the following terms, structure chart, program specification, and pseudocode. We're taking program design at a very high level. This is one topic where we won't go very deep. But if you are interested in programming, I would highly recommend that you read chapter 10 from the textbook in full. Let's start with some key definitions. What do we mean by program design? Well, to put it simply, we mean creating instructions for the programmers. If you're going to be doing custom development, before you jump in and start coding from scratch, it's best to organize and design the way that you're going to do your programming. The best practice is to use the top-down modular approach, meaning begin with the big picture and break what you need to do apart into modules, gradually adding detail. The top-down approach is essentially the same approach we used in creating DFDs starting at the context level and then breaking things down level by level. Also, you might remember when we talked about object-oriented design that things are always broken down into modules or objects. But the top-down modular approach can be taken no matter what language you will be programming in. Here's an example of what I mean by the top-down modular approach. Consider a system that you need to program that will allow users to book events and reservations. The big picture is that we have a booking system, but we can break that down into several modules. We could start with the module of programming the functionality of creating a new booking. We might also have a module for canceling an existing booking. Within each of these levels, they can be broken down even further. For example, the module to create a new booking could be broken down into booking for a new customer or booking for an existing customer. There are two key documents that are used in program design. We won't go into detail in this class about how to read or create these documents, as they're somewhat complicated and we have limited time and resources. But again, if you're interested in programming and in program design, please consult the remainder of Chapter 10. The first key document is the structure chart. A structure chart shows all components of code in a hierarchical format, and it illustrates the organization and interactions of the different program modules. Here's an example of what a structure chart might look like. In this example, we have a module where we want to show students grades. You can see that the programmer has broken down this module into several submodules: getting the student grade record, calculating the GPA, calculating the cumulative GPA, and so forth. For each of these modules, you can see some of the inputs and outputs. Such an organization will make programming easier because the programmer can code each module one at a time and then put them all together. The second key document is a program specification. You'll notice that a lot of the documents in the design phase are called specifications. The overall deliverable is the system specification. We also saw a hardware software specification. In this case, what we're talking about is a program specification. A program specification is a set of instructions at a high level of how to program the system. There really is no standard approach or format to the program specification, but it should include program information, events and triggers, inputs and outputs, pseudocode, and additional notes and comments. Here's an example of what a uh, program specification looks like. This example includes a name, a purpose, the person who's going to program it, a date, what language it will be programmed in, what events will be programmed, inputs and outputs, some pseudocode and some other notes at the bottom. What do we mean by pseudocode? Pseudocode is coding type language that could easily be implemented in any language. As you can see in the example on the screen, we've written out some logic with some if-else branches for a module called Calculate Discount Amount. You can see that the inputs are total price and discount amount, and that it's calculated based on several conditions. This is not written in any specific code, but it's fairly straightforward to understand and could be implemented in any number of languages. The main thing to remember about program design, about program specifications, pseudocode, and structure charts, is that it's really just a way to plan and organize the way you're going to code your custom developed system before you start. 